I wish I could go on a rampage and kill all the people on my death list, um, I mean happy list, but I'd be put behind bars and sexually abused by a large man called Tyrone for the rest of my life. I'm not sure if bad game designers deserve to go on my happy list, but if it were up to me, they'd certainly receive a good public flogging. Football Manager is one of the few games I've played that's made me want to track down the creator and poo in his mailbox. Not because the concepts of the game are bad, far from it. I think the idea of taking charge of a football team and leading them to glory is an excellent concept, but year in year out it's delivered by a naked mailman with a hard on. I could tell straight from the install screen that I was in for the same anal cancer that made the first game such a success, <coughs> so I'll skip the pleasantries and get right to it. As far as graphics go, Football Managers are, well, let's just say it's taken Football Manager 13 years to develop graphics on par with FIFA 1995. Match graphics aside, the game is just constructed by words and numbers, so it's about as graphical as one of those paedophile infested role playing games on the internet. The sounds in Football Manager are annoying. The first thing I did upon hearing ball thudding noises and crowd noises was go into the options and turn it off. It was a surprise to me that the game even had sound in the first place, because it was quiet and then all of a sudden my speakers boomed out with <coughs> There's two sides to Football Manager's gameplay. The first being the football itself, where you attempt to get a bunch of large sweaty men to score a goal in another dude's net, and the second being the business side of the game, where you deal in that oldest of trades, sweet white capitalist money. The business side of the game is half the fun of Football Manager, although I have to say for a manager you have very little control over things like stadium improvements or sponsorship deals. I'm not sure if the board deals with these things in real life, but it would be nice to be able to have more long term control seeing as you are the manager, and for the game's sake it would make things a little bit more enjoyable. The board are the same bunch of unhelpful corporate money whores they were in the last game. They make decisions for you, sell your key players, and generally treat you like a drippy armpit smelling piece of shit. Their unsupportive condescending attitude is so self-righteous and rude it makes you wish there was some option to beat them within an inch of their life. Speaking of buttons, the ultimatum one still doesn't work. No matter how much prestige you've built up or how much you've done for the club, the board will still drop you quicker than a Christmas dinner bowel movement. So for a football simulation, that's probably the most realistic part of the game. The footballing part of Football Manager is heavily blurred by a cloak of randomly occurring events and complex tactical equations. If you're not someone fluent in footballing bollocks, then my immediate suggestion to you is to buy another game, because unfortunately you're expected to know everything about tactics, stats, players and money straight from the off, or to learn it from the vague hints and tips the game occasionally spits at you. Team talks are like people who push elevator buttons more than once in an attempt to make the lift arrive faster, they just don't make sense. Regardless of which team talk you give, your players always react in an arbitrary fashion, show encouragement and your team might play better, or it could do the opposite and induce a team wide case of brain deficiency. It would help if there was some kind of indication as to what each team talk does, but for some reason the game just expects you to take a stab in the dark and hope it doesn't bite you in the arse. Conferences like the rest of this game seemingly function at random, like swinging around some nunchucks and occasionally cracking yourself in the bollocks any comment you make can be twisted and turned against you. The game is too random for my liking. Sometimes players play well, and sometimes they play badly. There's no real pattern to anything. The random element in Football Manager is far too powerful, heavily blurring any sense of direction. You could be unstoppable one minute and the next minute go into an unending losing streak resulting in your redundancy and the thing that makes it all funny is YOU WON'T HAVE A FUCKING CLUE HOW IT HAPPENED after a season or so, the game gets to the point where you just can't be bothered anymore. Last minute goals, lazy players, an unhelpful board, unpredictable outcomes and overall a depressing experience make you want to close the game and never launch it again. This was when I started using my assistant manager. The arse man is like an avoid bollocks button. If you have a skilled arse man, you can sit back and make him do everything for you. Going on holiday on match day and just generally kicking back while he slaves away and does your job for you. However, the more you go on holiday, the more time you'll spend on loading screens as opposed to actually playing the game, and as with all football managers, the loading time has become unbearable after a season or two because the game is badly designed. Things like previous match scores, new players, new coaches and other things build up in the game's database to a point where the game just ceases to function at a playable rate because it just has so much crap to load every time you press continue. This has always been the case with Football Manager and I find it shocking that after so many title releases this hasn't been addressed. If you go back 3 or 4 titles, you'll see that Football Manager 2010 is only marginally different from its predecessors. 
Each passing instalment of Football Manager is like a reoccurring nightmare. I found this review particularly short because halfway through I realised anything there is to say about this shit burger of a game has already been said a thousand times. So why am I reviewing it you ask? Because it's the kind of game that I want to like. But for a normal person, Football Manager 2010 is the same annoying short lived game it's always been. You play it for a season and then you begin to question the point of life unless you're one of those people that never shut the hell up about FOOTBALL! Or soccer if you're American, in either case FUCK YOU! Oh, no, no, no.